Look at you, hacker. A pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridor. How can you challenge a perfect immortal machine? I didn't read that as, uh, as uh, authentically as I could have, but then again, I am not an advanced artificial intelligence program that believes itself to be a god. Yes, yes, past Grimace, shut the fuck up. There, there is no need for such vulgarity, seriously. Skull fuck me, that, that'd be all levels of awkward, bro. Alright, folks, it's time to commence with even more Shadow Run! Oh my god, what the fuck, Baba kills us! The Griminator is two more episodes to smash down your gullets while you sit in your torture chairs, eyes peeled open in horror. So how about we get on the fucking show, eh? Last time, I went on a ghoulish rampage of ghastly delight within the haunted house of the Redmond Barons. By completing the Shadow Run and collecting a tidy sum of Nuyen, Phantom uh, has departed the group and has returned to the frag grenade in Renraku Arcology. It's time to pick him back up again because he will become a permanent asset. But first, fight! Yes! This is what I love. So an i5 or an org and a Halloweener walked into a bar, then Joshua walked in and all three of them were like, Fucking, let's grab his ass! And stuff. So I'm like, God damn it, this is giving me nightmares. The time that I accidentally used up an entire med kit so I couldn't sell it for 100 new yen. Let's see if I can cat around this orc even more. <laughs> You fucking die already. <laughs> Robin Orc, I have a red bandana, man. I'm awesome. Now the Halloweeners like, fuck, I'm fucked. Whee! You children are supposed to be fighting each other, not Joshua. Just because his hair is thick and black does not mean that you're allowed to hate on him. You're mad because you're jelly. You're mad. <laughs> you mad. So there we go. Once again, we have paid the entry fee. We meet Phantom again. He doesn't have anything cool to say to us, but his price has lowered a bit for us to pick him up again. Once again, we acquire him for the short term. Now, I do believe I'm going to use his um, his assets and skills a uh, bit more adequately in this episode, or at least that's what I'm hoping. But first, you glimpse someone taking your picture with a hollow cam. The person quickly disappears into the crowd. Oh, so that orc saw how uh, how I kicked ass was like... Oh man, I need a picture of that bro, man. He's like, oh, I just need to put him up on my, my my freshman dorm wall, man. And then this elven chick was like, Dude. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Not really. I don't know. <laughs> she could have had whatever attitude she wanted to. As long as she stopped staring at me. First, let's play, pay a visit to Weapons World. Weapons World! Weapons World! Shut the fuck up. Um, I'm here to, uh, first showcase this thing to you. The pistol-like shotgun. The room sweeper. But really, I'm here to sell this model, uh, 10 1T, 101T pistol that I got for some cash. And, um, going to give my medkits back to Phantom so he can be the keeper of the medkits. Because he has a bi higher biotech skill than Joshua has, so it's more fitting for Phantom to hold on to them. Look, 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 look at his setup that Phantom has there. It almost looks like he's part of, like, the Typing of the Dead crew. <laughs> Gee! No, excuse me. Goldman! <laughs> I have many complaints from people. Why won't you get on with finishing that? The Typing of the Dead was awesome. No. You guys can play that one on your own time. It's okay. Checking out Karma levels there. But yeah, it is time for a most excellent and bodacious vindication in the realm of the Matrix. So we visited Microtronics, the store for the serious Decker. And we are going to repurchase the attack program. Unfortunately, we do not have enough money to buy level 3, which is what it was at previously before a tar pit devoured it. Attack level 2 will be weaker. Uh, just how much weaker? Uh, you folks will see. While I'm here, I also decide to purchase some extra storage so I can store more uh, data files so I can, uh, you know, acquire more and then take them out of the matrix and sell them for a profit. 
load up my cyber deck here uh, before I get to a vid screen to search for a random system. I checked out my memory storage there. I have quite a bit more than I used to, courtesy of buying all of it. And still, even though I have the worst cyber deck in the game, I think I'm well equipped to kick some ass. But first, let's fucking dance through the Rinraku Arcology. A flustered woman passes by you. A moment later, a grungy man passes by. Seems to you that he's playing the harder. Armor. Hey, what's going on? Lone Star to cover on the ground now, punk or die! So I complied, answered all their questions. Convincingly, and they continued along their way. A short time later, crowds parted you are approached by a Lone Star Patrol. Goddamn Lone Star. Fucking, fucking whiz police force. Like, oh, we're so awesome. No, 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 no. Do not has hats. I guess I was hoping that more karma magically appeared at that point. <laughs> Come on, karma. Fine, no more karma than this dude has to go. <laughs> The sacrifice <laughs> to appease my lack of having karma. Alright, so Phantom with the big ass hat is going to hopefully uh, achieve greater success than he did previously by entering the Matrix and stealing more delicious fat loots. By stealing more delicious fat loots, I mean stealing any delicious fat loots. Considering how we uh, achieved a net loss the last time we were here. Facing the system access node, we are trying to bypass it with deception, and we succeed! Oh, fucking raw. And here we are again. Now, um, these, uh, these, uh, these random nodes, like these random systems that you guys will stumble across while you're playing this game, they're, like, automatically generated, so they'll never change. So, um, you have the odds, like, whenever you're stumbling through random systems, to see the same thing that you've come across before. The layouts are exactly the same. The ice never changes in its power level or what it even is in each node. So, for example, you'll always see that, uh, that system access node there, and then it will lead to this, which is a trace and burn ice which Phantom can't hit worth a goddamn. He couldn't even bypass with Deception worth a damn, and which will force me to jack out before the Trace catches me and fries my Cyber deck. I just want to remind you, Ryan, remind you guys of that, or let you guys know in case you see the same uh, system in the future. Because there are only so many systems in this game. There's a wide variety of uh, both... Uh, predetermined, like, uh, ass assigned to a corporation system, and just these random unlisted garbage systems, but there are only so many. So here we are, Phantom. It's time to redeem yourself with your Silver Surfer attitude. Become like Keanu Reeves. Yes, use your power to, uh, become one with the Matrix and stuff. Listen, I, I, I don't even write my material out beforehand. Oh god, it's a barrier! Syntax error! The spinning whirlpool vortex of doom! I will devour your force lightning! And, uh, my starburst missed. Now, um, these, these, these little pings, obviously, like I mentioned before, uh, go out to try and alert the system to say, Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Shit is going the fuck down! It's kind of like its own version of attack. If that alert, if that ping successfully gets across the screen, it has a chance of alarming the system to your presence and upgrading the alert value. But it's not always successful. However, if you successfully hit it while that alarm ping is going across the screen, that stymies the alert signal. Like so. Of course, I defeated it there, so that helps too. So now we've broken into the financial data data store. Since I'm, since Phantom has proven himself not to be that powerful and got himself screwed over by a tar pit, I decided to be satisfied with this data store here. I don't like downloading data from green data stores because it tends not to be that valuable. Orange is more and uh, red is the most. You can't really gauge value uh, exactly while you're staring at a data file in the matrix. You just have to hope for the best. You can gauge based on like names and and uh, file sizes to some extent, but it's not always that accurate. Five files is the most you can carry. I still had 33 MP left of storage, but I decided to uh, erase a file just to be a dick and leave. 
and uh, hope to get a profit from this ye old fixer dude. Not that, the ye old fixer dude. Howdy, name's Roscoe, my biz is by <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's file here, local accounts, 300 new yen. Bank account number, 600 new yen. Capital expenditures, 750 new yen. Capital expenditures, 500 new yen. And useless. That's a lot more money than I was expecting from that. I was genuinely fucking surprised. I was like, holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? 2200 new yen now. Bam. <laughs> Insert notepad. Make sure to fucking... Mm, hold on. Yeah, fucking. Make sure to, yeah, fucking convey how fucking excited I am that I fucking earned that much money by selling data from a green data store. Holy motherfucking Christ, Jacks, children. <laughs> Future Grim, do not fuck this up. <laughs> I think the notepad will become a staple feature of my Shadowrun videos. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ahead of you is a man lying on the street. He seems to be hurt badly. As you approach, you notice that the figure is not as wounded as he first appeared. You close and see only inches separate you from a vampire. Fuck that. Walk away. The pale figure reacts with amazing speed, leaping up to a two-story building. Here was a trap. Now I could have handled the vampire just nicely, but... I think. But why risk it, everybody? Why risk it? It would have been silly. Dun, 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 dun. Moving along. Here we are in regular ecology. Another sudden disturbance. God damn it, stop taking my photo. Look at this photograph, motherfuckers. Stop doing it. It's a bad idea. Um. Sweet, now I can buy the attack level 3 program. Hallelujah! <laughs> I need to pause this narration. Let's see if I can do that. Hold on! Apparently, I can't. I guess I can press stop. Alright, I will stop the narration then. I've gotta go do something. Hold on, PRB, lol. It's like live commentary. <laughs> Just as Randor. Alright, sorry about that folks, I had to deal with some noise and shenanigans and disturbances. Let's pretend that interruption never happened. That was also... I'm not used to doing this post-op commentary thing. Good thing past Grimoth is continuing to handle the action just fine on the screen. So, uh, considering how successful that last run was, I'm like, you know what, what the fuck? Let's go ahead and try for it again. Now with attack 3, everybody. I've also managed to upgrade my cyber deck there, so I... It's more powerful than it used to be, but it's still the same bad cyber deck. Um, as I noted, uh, Matrix runs can be profitable. You just have to make sure you don't run into bullshit, particularly at the beginning of the game whenever you're not equipped to deal with said bullshit. Which is what it was, by the way. Bullshit, everybody. Let it fucking ran into that goddamn tar pit. Fucking random systems. There are so many weaker ones compared to that. Ones with a green CPU node. CPU nodes where you can bypass them with deception. Which is amazing for some reason for me to try and comprehend. But could I get that? No. I'm currently here, uh... <laughs> fucking, uh, Phantom is getting goddamn thwarted by this, uh... Like this access, I think it's the name of the ice access, which you can deceive, and it sends out pings as well, and it's actually pinged all the way up to active alert. Can't deal with that, not going to try to fight so many, so much other ice to try and get to a CPU to try and deactivate that alarm when it's running on active. It's not worth it. So I said, fuck it, let's try again, Phantom. You, you we may have gotten attack three back, and you may have redeemed yourself, but you need to do more than redeem. Don't strive to be average. <laughs> Don't strive to be like a C student. Strive beyond. Be all you can be. And stuff. <laughs> Whatever. So, alright. Another SPU here in another system trying to successfully deceive it using my Zoro Mask Ninja Hacks. And that 
fails. Well, fuck a doo doo doo. This, I think, is a blaster. Or it could be a killer. I forget the exact name of the ice. Regardless, it attacks. It's usually not that lethal. Not very problematic. I wouldn't consider this a tough ice at all. Except for the fact that this is pretty much the beginning of the game. And, uh, <laughs> Phantom, despite his, uh, computer skill, I mean, there are other attributes that factor into cyber combat as well. Like the level of the attack program, um, and various sorts of attributes which I have not increased to their maximum in preparation for receiving cyberware. So, yeah, until that moment, uh, Phantom is not going to be able to be all he can be. Which is pretty unfortuitous. Because <laughs> that would be pretty fucking useful. I'm just saying, it'd be pretty fucking useful. Failure, failure, failure keeps popping up. Uh, getting some random hits in there, but it's definitely a good thing that this uh, node does not contain a tar paper, or worse, a tar pit ice hiding behind it. Because I, because Phantom certainly would have tripped it here. <sighs> Continuing to try and uh, yield the force lightning while screaming in my Darth Sidious voice, <gasps> and I managed to succeed. Fucking fancy that! I actually forgot that I succeeded there. <laughs> I'm fucking impressed. Man, that's fucking amazing. Time to go to the Nintendo DS, I mean data storage, data dump, the doodle logo thingy system. And stuff, yeah, that's exactly what it stands for, folks. You didn't know, you didn't get the fucking know. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, stop resisting me! No means yes! Fuck! No means I believe! Yes! That's exactly what <laughs> Was a round hole doing in a square peg? You, you saw that, right? That it was like a cube peg, just like a cylindrical thing. You rewind the back of the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm not making shit up. So here I am at another green data store, uh, trying to look for more files to sell and uh, appearing not to have much luck. Oh, I got some tribal law documents though. Fuck yeah! And the alarm has upgraded to red, and not doing that well. Um, and I, I actually got kicked out of the system. One thing I really like to do in those situations is unlock the CPU first and suppress the ice before I go dive in for data, because of how quickly the alert value can go up, particularly at the beginning of the game. By the way, I'm still excited though that both of those files sold, and I got a considerable amount of money from it. Um, but yeah, if you suppress the CPU first, that'll make diving for data much easier. Does it mean you'll find incredibly valuable data? Mm, depends! So, uh, here, after this, I decide, well, now that I've got enough money, uh, Phantom has redeemed itself. I think it's time to take you guys to a bar here. Or a restaurant, rather. It's called the Big Rhino, specializes in orc gourmet dishes. I'm gonna introduce you guys to somebody new. Another Mr. Johnson. Dun dun dun. By the way, playing around with that. I. <laughs> you move into the booth. Bodyguards search for hidden weapons on your body. When they are satisfied, a voice speaks from the shadows. Well, what have we here? A shadow runner looking for work? I'm Mortimer Reed, and if you serve me well, we both can make a lot of Nuyen. I hate to give away anything, so I am loath to discuss any information with you for free. But as it is the custom to do so, I will part with it begrudgingly. However, I do know a valuable contact whom I believe you could benefit from. I can impart the name. I can impart you with the name for like 1500 new yen. He doesn't know anything useful right now. I'm the perp. He'll see what he can do for me as long as it's not too legal. I ask him about the contact. Tells me about that. But I'm not going to purchase that contact information right now. For one, I don't have 1500 And two, I more valuable things to do right now. So I'm like, I'm here to get like a simple Matrix run, which he offers to, uh, you know, earn some more money while I'm diving around in Matrix data stores anyway. However, Mortimer Reed pops this up. Killing ghouls in the Redmond Barrens. And, uh, the, <laughs> the amusement factor of it was so high that even though I'll have to pay cost for transportation to get to the Redmond Barrens and back, it'll be 60 total new yen. Um, the fact that I already done that recently, I was like, 
well, why not? <laughs> so I ended up accepting this. <laughs> Wonder Marie looks fucked up. Uh, my brother liked to uh, visit him. Um, I was not much of a fan of Mortimer Reed. Uh, I mean, I guess he was cool, but there are other people that are like to visit back in the day. Also introduce you to this guy, an armed troll, a big motherfucker. Ask Miss Story, his name's Mars. Did you know he was the god of war? A good old Winston Mars here likes to shoot things and ask questions later, as opposed to never. He tried joining Lone Star, but uh... <laughs> Surprisingly enough, I think he was too bloodthirsty, even for them sons of bitches. I think they try to shirk away from, from, from bloodshed. They like to wave around their power, not getting, not getting fights. Talks about the weenies, some information about them. Ask him about Lone Star, and he hates them. Do not bring that subject up again. There's some background, some biased background on Lone Star there. And I ask him, how is it that you are a troll? He looks like he's going to lose his temper, but stays calm. I didn't ask to be like this, you know. I was normal, like you, when I was younger. But now I'm seven feet four inches of troll. Do you know how hard it is to buy clothes that fit hard enough to maybe want to shoot someone? His grip tightens on this pistol. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I go ahead and ask him uh, information about hiring him, just to see his prices, just to show them off to you guys, because you can't hire him, and, uh, I, in normal circumstances, I, I do like to have him as a party. He is a samurai, and he's exceptionally tough, and he has a shotgun at the beginning, and he packs quite a punch. However, uh, this time, I will leave him sitting there in the big rhino. <laughs> Alright, folks, that takes care of this episode. I, uh, Phantom redeemed himself, and next time we are back to the Redmond Barons doing another run for a different Johnson. This is Grimoth, signing out. <laughs>